Welcome to the White Crane Kung Fu Academy, located in the city of Laval, Quebec, Canada. This is the international headquarters of the Lee Family Flying Crane Branch of White Crane Kung Fu. This complete and highly effective traditional Chinese martial art is characterized by ultra-fast hand techniques, combinations of strikes and grabs, and most notably, vital point attacks. As with any authentic traditional martial art, Flying Crane Kung Fu is primarily geared towards real self-defense and lays great emphasis on practical applications. Consequently, it involved the study of a wide range of training methods. These methods include individual and partner training, both empty-handed and with traditional weapons, physical conditioning, breathing exercises, and free sparring. It is also worth pointing out that this art form is accessible to everyone since it uses a wide range of techniques, methods, and routines, and since its preference for hand techniques makes continued training into the golden years feasible. Practitioners can therefore focus on various aspects of the art according to their abilities and preferences. To sum up, it is fair to say that the Flying Crane branch of White Crane Kung Fu is truly a jewel in the martial arts world. My name is Shifu Lorne Bernard, I am the proud heir of this art, and I am very happy to present it to you in this video along with my instructors and students. Now, let the demonstrations begin.
Ooh, my skin is fine. One and one. According to the legend passed down within the Li family, it was a woman named Fang Qinyang who created White Crane Kung Fu in the mid 18th century. She did so by combining Shaolin Kung Fu, specifically Lohan Fist, with the spirit and defensive movements she had learned from fighting with the crane. Flying Crane Kung Fu, which is taught here, is one of the four main styles derived from this woman's teachings. On the white wall, you can see the picture of third generation grandmaster Li Kiang Ke. By making public his art, this legendary grandmaster ensured the survival of his family's closed door martial heritage. Upon his retirement, his son, Grandmaster Li Zhuqian, succeeded him. The latter, whose picture is also on the white wall, trained several people, including myself, pass on his art. For the past few decades, I have been passing on the techniques that I had the honor of learning from Grandmaster Li Zhuqian and several of his colleagues. Please note the traditional weapons on both walls. These are all used in this Kung Fu style. You may have seen them in the previous demonstrations. Please feel free to pause the video if you want to take a closer look at these weapons. The art of flying crane kung fu has a rich history that lives on today. Many of the pictures on the wall date from the 1950s and 60s and are a testament to the art's rich history both in Malaysia and in Canada. It is an art that is still relevant in the modern era as it provides its practitioners with real self-defense skills. In addition, it introduces them to another culture by instilling values that foster a healthy lifestyle and promote the development of camaraderie, strength, flexibility, internal energy, self-confidence, and even compassion. I am optimistic that the Flying Crane Kung Fu will remain around for a long time and that the precious and unique knowledge it carries will continue to benefit many people.